excited because my first live is the January craft box. Um, if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely head to our website, sizzix.com or sizzix.co.uk, and you can see our January craft box. It's got some amazing die sets in it and some um, pretty awesome making essentials, I think. Uh, some of your everyday staples, stuff like that. But it's I kind of went and made projects that weren't like typical of probably what you're going to think when you get the craft box. I saw some of the images, um, or not the images, the icons, and I thought those would make really cute cute Valentine's Day cards. So that's what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to show you how to use the die sets in the craft box and how you can make some cute little Valentines to send to your loved ones or have your kids help pitch in. You know, they might need to make some for mom and dad or grandma and grandpa, send them in the mail. But I'm going to go first, first go through what is actually in the craft box. So you're going to get 10 sheets of our assorted cardstock. I'm just fan these out real quick so you can see the colors. Nice, bright, vibrant colors, some spring colors. Um, perfect for um, any of the spring kind of makes that you might be making. And for Valentine's Day, which is what I'm going for. So we've got um, a nice array right here and of our durable cardstock. Gotta love it. You're also going to get five sheets of our silver opulent cardstock. You're going to get one of each texture. If you aren't familiar with our opulent cardstock, it comes in five different colors. So this is our silver range. We also have it in sil um, gold, rose gold, charcoal, and ivory. And they are a beautiful uh, part of any collection you might have in your home. Um, we also, you're going to get the five pack of cardstock, white cardstock. These are great for your card bases or just to kind of neutralize any of the colors that you're using. Um, because it comes with the, um, I believe this is cobblestone, cobblestone or Earl Grey. I've pulled mine off, so I can't see it right now, but this is the glitter embossing powder. You're also going to get the sorbet embossing powder and, or not embossing powder, glitter, and the Arctic Sky Glitter is part of the set. And because it comes with embossing powder, it also comes with our clear embossing ink. So I'm gonna be doing that in just a minute. Now for the die sets, oh, I love these. So this is our Butterfly Spinner card. It is um, a really great set. So it comes with the card base, so you can actually make the card base, but then it also comes with all these beautiful little, um, decorative elements. So you get some butterflies, some foliage, there's florals and a sentiment as well. Then there is the framelit and stamp set. Uh, this one is called from also from chapter one and it is, I'm blanking on the name real quick, Love Hearts. I knew it was hearts, but I couldn't remember the first part. So you get these nice framelits that work um, with these stamps. You get a lovely array of sentiments and you also get some thin lit shapes and a couple of more sentiments. And then the final die set in the January craft box is the confetti pockets. I love this one. I think these are so cute and they're perfect for little Valentines as well, just on their own. Um, these are great for little things. You could put um, little confetti in them, send them away for the birthday. You can use them for every day, which is what I'm going to show you. I use these as the base on my card. So I'm going to show you a couple samples of what I made using those elements. So the first card I have here, I used the confetti pockets and um, a bunch of hearts and had an, a confetti explosion coming out of it, but I've put for you and there's a really nice embossed heart on this circle framelit right there. Then I also have this butterfly explosion pocket, as you can see. So again, I used the confetti pocket and then I had a bunch of butterflies coming out it out of it and I used the stamp sentiment from the love heart stamps um, and then I used embossing powder on both of these so that they would stay nice and firm but now I want to make another valentine but I kind of want to do I these are not glued down <laughs> I just wanted to give you an idea of what we're going to be doing I wanted to do one that is a floral explosion so I'm going to kind of walk you through what I'm doing and show you a couple different ways that you can make this a little bit more bling so let me get some of this out of the way real quick. And we're gonna die cut some things. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna die cut is the actual pocket. 
Um, I did something different with it. Um, so I wanted to show you what I did in order to get the pocket. So this is the pocket shape. As you can see, it's probably fits like a really nice little gift card shape. And so you can add that to the front of any card, which is what I'm doing, or you could just use it as its own individual. So I'm gonna cut that real quick. Now what's nice about this confetti pocket is the score lines. So the actual uh, die puts these nice score lines in so it's easy to fold right on the score. And you've got the two side panels and this bottom lip. Now what I did is I wanted this to have a nice smooth front on the project so I actually trimmed off the top. So I'm just gonna do that real quick once I folded it so I knew where my top line would be. And that's what gives you your actual pocket. So I used express glue and just glued all these panels together to get this folded pocket that's already glued. That's our first piece. Then I wanted to decorate the pockets. So I went in with um, this shape right here and I wanted to cut it from the silver uh, glitter. I thought that was a nice little added element. So I've got this circle right here and put that on there. And then the next layer, I wanted a really bold, vibrant color. So I took the Primrose cardstock and I used this beautiful scallop from the Love Hearts. Both of these shapes are from the Love Hearts stamp and framelit set. And then I also wanted a heart. So I'm using the Cherry Blossom cardstock and I'm using the medium size heart from that same stamp and framelit set. One thing I like to do with um, especially when you're making gift cards or anything of that nature where it looks like a gift card, I like to create dimensional depth because then it takes something that's really plain um, and simple, like one dimensionally, and it just gives it that extra flair. So what I did is I layered these all up and then I put foam tape in between each layer. And you can see what a difference just a small layer of foam tape does. It completely makes something one dimensional like this become two 3D dimensional like that. Um, so I just like doing 3D stuff. I think it adds a little bit more of a, a fun element. So I use just a little bit of foam tape behind each of those. And then I'm going to use express glue and glue this onto the front of the, the pocket. So I didn't make sure that my glue was open before I went. There we go. Make sure I'm gluing it to the right side. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside to dry. The next thing I did was from the lavender dust, the, uh, sorry, it's not cherry blossom, it's the ballet slipper um, cardstock. So from the primrose, the ballet slipper, and the lavender dust, I cut a variety of florals and stacked them up. And these three flowers are from the butterfly spinner card. So as you can see, I just cut a bunch ahead of time and then just use some adhesive, like liquid adhesive and put them together. But then I also took and cut some from um, cardstock with adhesive sheet on the back and then I added on the sorbet glitter to the adhesive sheet so I could have some of the florals that have a little bit of a glitter element to them. So now I've got all my die cut pieces. I would have cut these on camera but I think we all know that that can be <laughs> very, that would have been very time consuming for camera. So I did it off camera but I wanted to show you the beautiful florals that come with that die set. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these down right here and I did back some of these with foam adhesive so that there would be some dimensional elements on the card but I knew with both of these I had done a fairly straightforward like them propping off the top so I wanted to do this one at a different angle so um, make sure that's all glued on nice and tight.
that. There we go. So I wanted to put this one with the explosion coming at an angle. So I'm gonna glue this down. You can put this on with liquid adhesive. I did one with liquid on those the samples I just showed you, and I did another with foam tape. I think if you're gonna do something dimensional, I would do this component with foam tape just to keep it all on an even playing field. Um, but because most of my stuff is gonna be flat on this one, I just thought it would look nicer if I kept this one a little less dimensional, the actual pocket. So what I would do is take some of these flatter um, elements, not the dimensional flowers, and have them start by coming out of the pocket. So I'm just gonna have a couple that I put in there that are coming right out of the pocket so it looks like the pocket has an explosion of confetti. You could make, you could use this pocket year round and use any shape. So you could do the circles that come with the actual set and um, just make them for all birth, like birthdays, use the circles, have actual confetti and just have someone open it. I thought that would be really cute actually. So I'm gonna take some of my other pieces that are larger and I put the, I'm gonna probably put those down first just so I have an idea of like the area I'm gonna be working in. So I'm gonna take all the elements that I did 3D and I'm gonna put those down. I am trying to keep it going kind of in a V shape so that it looks like it's actually just falling out of uh, the confetti pocket. Sorry, I'm trying to get the foam tape off. These are very small squares. So just place these. One thing I like about the butterfly spinner card is the card base it comes with. Um, I know Josh did a video on that and um, gave a really great explanation as to how you can cut that. Um, but I think anytime you get a card base in these craft boxes, it's amazing because sometimes you just want like a different shape. You want different ideas. You could do just a plain card front um, with that one and then do something like this, but I chose to take the cardstock in there and create my own little card base because I wanted a bigger surface area. Okay, now I'm gonna put in some of this primrose because I've been putting down mostly the lavender dust and the ballet slipper. So. If you've gotten this craft box already and you're just watching for inspirational ideas, I would love to see in the comments if you can take any pictures of the projects you made. We always love seeing what you guys come up with. Um, it's really fun for us to see everyone else's innovative ideas. Sometimes as creators, we, um, or makers, I should say, uh, we, we need a little inspiration every now and then, and we love seeing what you guys are able to come up with in these. So be sure to put your pictures in, give everyone else in there some inspiration as well. I'm gonna put down a couple of the glitter ones. And as you can see, just having that height difference and the glitter, you're adding a lot of different uh, dimension and texture, just makes it a more unique make. I'm gonna put some of them close and tuck them in under each other because if these were actually falling out, they wouldn't be so perfectly placed. So you'll see on a few of these, I'm gonna actually layer them over each other or under each other, make it feel a little bit more realistic of what it would be like if they actually fell out of the pocket. Okay, I'm gonna put that one right here. And you can see how quickly these come together once you have all of your pieces cut. That's why I like to work in stages. Um, I like to kind of cut a variety of pieces, just have different ideas and then play around with my shapes. And then it kind of all comes together eventually, right? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna add a few more pieces real quick. Put this guy over here off to the side. And then I, of course, I want a sentiment, but I want um, something that is very specific to Valentine's. So I'm actually gonna use the stamp set uh, that comes with this set, which 
I think they just put on the floor, of course. So let me grab that. Okay, so I'm gonna use this I Love You in the Love Heart stamp set. And a little trick, if you can't happen to find your acrylic stamp block, which I currently at the moment cannot find mine, um, you can use the lid of your embossing ink as your stamp block. That's just a fun little hack for you if you need one. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna get a nice ink on there, and then I'm going to center this. If you were smart, you probably would have done this first, but I forgot to do it first, so I'm gonna do it now, and I'm gonna stamp it onto my heart. Make sure I got it on there nice. I'm gonna get out my funnel tray and my embossing powder and just sliver that on there. Did that a little too hard, need the block. Okay. And I've got my heat tool right out here off to the side, so pardon the noise, I'm just gonna heat set this real quick. go you've got a nice little valentine i love you um you can send florals you can send hearts and you can send butterflies all from the shapes that come in these sets similar idea but three very different looks obviously the colors in this um in your craft not your craft yeah your craft box they are perfect for valentines but you could also be changing these out to spring birthday you can do the same kind of confetti pocket for any type of card. It doesn't just have to be Valentine's, but I saw this and I thought these are perfect for Valentine's Day. So be sure to check out Sizzix.com, Sizzix.co.uk, and you can get our January craft box. It is available now. And be sure to look out. I know there's some more content coming soon with some other ideas from the rest of the designers. I hope you all have a great day and I look forward to seeing you again soon.